Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bianca and it's actually been a little bit over a year since I've posted any videos. I know I've been slacking so hard, I promise it won't happen again. So I moved from New York to LA about 10 months ago and I've actually had a lot of life changes, but I will update you guys about that in a later video. So the purpose of this video is I really want to update you guys about my trip to Japan and show you all the highlights from the trip. It was definitely the best trip of my life and I'm so sorry that it took me so long to make this video about it. We went back in June and it was truly incredible. The food, the nightlife, the culture, just everything was so amazing. So I'm really excited to show you guys this video and please stay tuned because I'm going to post another video after this one showing you guys all the stuff that I bought in Tokyo. The thrifting scene is just amazing and I bought so many clothes and I can't wait to show you guys. Oh my god, I can see my dog staring at me in the window and he looks so sad. Oh, Winston! If you guys enjoy this video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. All right, I'm just gonna jump right into it, so hope you enjoy it. When we finally got to Tokyo, we were so tired but wanted to check out Don Quixote in Shibuya. The store literally has everything you'll ever need, but we ended up going back again at the end of our trip because I wanted to get a bunch of skincare items. Our hotel was in Shibuya, so we had a lot of time to explore and shop around the area. Miyashita Park was right nearby, as well as tons of shopping. Shopping in Harajuku was super fun. It was really rainy that day, but we were able to make the best of it and still had a great time. We went to this thrift store in Chicago that I loved and ended up buying a few things from there that I'll show you guys in my next video. The selection was huge. There's actually a few locations of this store throughout Tokyo. I highly recommend it. Ginza was really cool. It kind of reminded me of shopping on 5th Avenue in New York City. Lots of fancy shops, but the main reason we went there is because I wanted to check out the 12-story flagship Uniqlo. I bought a bunch of stuff there as well. They also had this really cute backyard. It was very serene and didn't even feel like you were shopping in Uniqlo anymore. The Skiji fish market was awesome. It was about a 20 minute train ride from where we were staying in Shibuya and then a 15 minute walk from the train station. I have never had meat that tasted so good in my life and all the fish was so fresh.
The Team Lab Planets Museum was recommended to me by my acupuncturist in New York and I'm so glad we went. Located in Toyosu, it took about an hour to get there by train but definitely worth it. They have you take your shoes off when you arrive and you lock your belongings in a locker. You walk barefoot through the water and become one with the flowers. I won't spoil it all for you in case you guys ever go but it was a really fun immersive experience and I highly recommend it. Shimokitazawa was so much fun. Probably my second favorite neighborhood that we visited in Tokyo. It's known for its vintage stores, music, and bookstores. They also have the best Japanese curry there. We went to this one restaurant called Magic Spice that I will never forget. The decor was eclectic and the food was flavorful and delicious. They also had this really cool gift shop that is worth checking out. We hung out in Yuyogi Park in Harajuku while we were waiting to go to the Owl Cafe. The park is 134 acres and a popular tourist destination. It was really nice to just hang out amongst the trees and relax before heading to the cafe. The Owl Cafe was located in Harajuku and so much fun. When we got there, they gave us a drink and a dessert while we waited for the owls to finish their break time. When we finally went in the room, I was a little nervous, but they were so sweet and all had different personalities. We got to feed them, pet them, and get to know them.
Yeah, I, I got it. Okay, I cannot talk highly enough about 7-Eleven and the other convenience stores in Japan. The two other popular ones are Family Mart and Lawson, but I forgot to take videos in those. I cannot believe that you can get healthy, fresh food in a 7-Eleven and also the most delicious smoothies. I was used to the standards in the US where a 7-Eleven hot dog will probably give you food poisoning. Japanese convenience stores really take convenience to a whole new level. This is also the best egg sandwich I've ever had in my life. Nakamaguro was probably my favorite neighborhood that we visited. I didn't get enough videos, but it had a beautiful river and is known for vintage shops, art galleries, and really good restaurants. It kind of reminded me of the West Village in New York, and if I was going to live in Tokyo, I could really see myself in this area. That concludes my video for today. There's definitely way more to do in Tokyo that I didn't even get to, but I hope to go back soon and experience what we didn't get to last time. 